Okay, a little what's in my bag video now. What's going to be different is that I'm not trying to uh, brag about what equipment I've got. It's pretty ordinary and mundane for the most part. What is most important to me is uh, having everything that I need when I'm traveling. So uh, quite often I'm on trips to Central America for five months, nine months at a time. I need all the gear that I'm going to use for all my multimedia content. So that's what I have and the amazing thing is is that it all fits in one bag and the big secret is this bag goes under my seat. So it's called a personal item. So I have a carry-on bag with a few clothes and a couple extra pieces that don't fit in here. But the big thing is is that uh, many photographers don't realize that they can place a bag under the seat. And so you'll see all this fit in. Um, I've got everything from my laptops, uh, iPads, multiple hard drives, speakers, a few cameras. I don't have any big lenses. I don't use them. One reason I love my Olympus gear is because it's small. So I have what I need for my travel photography. What I chose this is about nine years ago now, was this uh, Low Pro Mini Tracker it's called. And uh, what's nice about it is my wife did the, found out the dimensions for under the seat in the airplanes and uh, this fits within it. And it's weatherproof, it's uh, a backpack. What it has that I value a lot are the, um, I think it's called a sternum strap. So when I put it on I can clip this. And even at my old age, I don't uh, feel the weight of it when I'm walking around long distances in airports or getting between locations. And as well, uh, I can bend over, pick things up. Um, it just really works well for me. It's reasonably lightweight, extremely durable. It's been standing up for a long time. Now, one reason, I'll just mention why I chose to go underneath and why it's a good reason to do it for anybody a photo who has gear that they want to take with them. There's a lot of uh, money involved in what we have, so we don't want it going in the checked-in luggage underneath, for sure. But a lot of times, we'll uh, generally think first of putting it in the overhead bins, which in general can work fine. That's with us. We have full control over it. But what if several scenarios, different scenarios could happen? What if the plane's too full and uh, there's no space left in overhead? Your luggage, your overhead is going to be taken away and put in, checked in, which uh, gets banged around. It might not show up in your location. A variety of things can happen. Things could be stolen out of it. Uh, so that's one concern. Um, another might be on many of the airlines that we've been on, uh, with uh, American Airlines as an example. I don't know what planes it is. They're Boeing planes. Our carry-on bag, my carry-on bag, a piece of luggage, fits within the dimensions that are specified and yet I stick it up in the overhead bin and it doesn't quite fit, about an inch short for the door to close. So I soon realized after a bit of frustration that I could put that luggage on the right side. The left side on uh, some of the Boeing planes, I think it's where there was two seats on the one side, three seats in the other, was uh, just a tad narrower and the fella he tapped me on the shoulder and says try it on the other side so that was a really valuable lesson but again that restricts the access that you have uh, to the to uh, overhead a third scenario is uh, what if you're taking a connector flight on a smaller jet uh, they don't have the overhead space so your your carry-on luggage ends up being forced to go underneath. Now the interesting thing is, is that there are few restrictions on your personal piece of luggage. And as long as it fits under the chair, which surprisingly will fit just about every plane that there is, even small planes, commuter planes, your, your uh, personal piece of luggage is going to go in and fit. So we had fortunately two scenarios come up uh, that taught us this lesson, really verified the uh, smarts of using this process. Um, just on our trip a few days ago from uh, Canada, Ontario, Canada to Guatemala City, 
The first was is that we were taking a commuter flight. Um, well, I guess it's just the, the first, first leg of the flight was from Kitchener, Ontario to Chicago, O'Hare Airport, and it was on a small 50-seat uh, uh, jet. And they said, no, sorry, your carry-on isn't going to fit. It'll have to go in the cargo bay. So they, uh, they did that. I had no options. But sure enough, my, my low pro bag fit with all my gear under the seat. So it was really a nice, uh, a nice uh, thing to have that sense of security. We got to Dallas, and we went to get on the plane from Dallas to Guatemala City. The flights were all oversold, they said, and packed. And uh, so as we're boarding, passing through, giving our tickets, the uh, girl says, no, you can't take that on. It's, uh, we're, we're too busy. Um, you, you, and uh, it's just, it's too big. And so anyway, um, the, we had to, I had to put my overhead underneath some of them um, in the uh, checked-in luggage. They didn't charge for it, but I had, my wife had her 17-inch laptop in there. I had my Zoom recorder and a microphone. And so we were a little bit worried, but thankfully all my gear, my photographic gear was with me. So what I'll do now is I'm going to pack up my bag with all these pieces that are here and just describe why I have them, uh, what the different pieces are that I find of value for my travel work. So first off, just pack the center here. Along this side, I'm going to put my Bose Bluetooth speaker. Now maybe on a short stint I wouldn't carry that with me. Um, I might replace this slot with my Zoom recorder. It fits perfect, but anyway, we'll put that in. Use that for uh, amplifying sounds from my um, MacBook. I also have an, another small Bluetooth, which is really a cute little thing. It's not quite as powerful. They're great sounding, but it's portable, goes with me. And for my iPad, which is very quiet, um, it uh, does the trick. Let's see, I've got my EM1, the 45 lens, 1.8, little flash that comes with it, but that's with the uh, grip, and so it fits on the, in the front section. I used to have my big DSLR with a lens in there. Now there's tons of space, I don't know what to do with it all. My main camera that I use is a uh, is an EM10, and uh, I just keep the zoom lens on it, the 14 to 42, handles most of my street photography. And so, just get the lens hood, that sits right in that slot. Now, I carry four two terabyte hard drives with me. This is my primary drive for travel photography. Two gigabyte, a uh, two terabyte, and uh, I don't use my MacBook at all for storage. It's strictly for apps. So this is my main drive for travel photography. This one, ter two terabyte drive, is my main drive for travel video. All four of those, believe it or not, fit in this nice little slot here. And then I can just slip. These are all USB three, so they're extremely fast. I slip the uh, cables right in there. None of these get damaged. The padding on the low pro is really quite amazing. I carry a larger flash with me, the uh, Hyung now, so that uh, if I want, I can use some extra flash. And in my checked in bag, I also carry a uh, reflector and an umbrella so that I can set up a nice umbrella setup if I want. So that goes in here. I'll put this so that it all stacks in good. Just because I had the space with the small cameras, I brought along a little EPL1, which I bought a cheap Holga lens, and I use that in black and white just for the fun of it. Fits right in front of there. My long zoom 
is a kit lens. It's the Olympus 40 to 150, and with lens hood, and it just fits right on in this uh, slot in the front. Batteries, battery chargers. I'm going to do another video on uh, this little cool little th feature and uh, fix for the problem of cables. But anyway, both of those fit in here. So they're not even a problem. I have a card reader, old fashioned card reader, fits in that slot. And then I just start filling, oh, just before I forget here. These are my uh, wireless triggers. I shoot. I bought quite a few years ago. They fit in this little bag that came free with it. And it has some Velcro on the side, and that just snaps right in there. I'm going to set this back in here again, and then this went like that. There we go. There's how it went. Okay, what do we got next? Basically, for the bottom, I just throw in the extra little flash on top here. Uh, my phone glasses all fit right in that spot. A couple pair of glasses. Phone. So I have a SEMA stereo microphone, which is very practical. It's got a little cable on it for a, a better quality sound on my Olympuses. So I have this little bag that came from somewhere. Treaty bag keeps everything nice and tidy. And then I've got what five <laughs> uh, flash drives. That little thumb drive that I store in there as well. And that just pulls together. And I can just place that in one of the bags there. Oh, another thing that here's a couple of the other pieces. I have a spare eye piece for my EP1, uh, EM1. Those all go in there so I can pull out. I don't use those often. Batteries have extra, there's batteries in the cameras, I have extra batteries go in the slot for the cameras and then I keep some AA batteries, I've got to two sets, so eight here for the flash and do up the zipper everything else just gets slotted on top so here's a whole bunch of uh, camera cables that I need, they're essential, and I keep a couple of the lens hoods in case I need them on, or they're body, hoods, uh, body caps actually. So I'll just stick these in here. But uh, this is a Thunderbolt to HDMI adapter, and I keep an HDMI cable with me. That way if I'm in a hotel room or in some place where I have access to a TV, I can uh, Plug that in to the HDMI and enlarge it right up. Okay, we're just about there. So I've got my Bluetooth. I've got a hole for it up beside my, my big camera. I've got some headphones, uh, earbuds, good quality earbuds to go in there. And that's just about it. Now, that fits right on top. Beautiful. My iPad. With this setup, I'm able to unzip the corner, pull out the bag from under the seat, and just unzip the corners, and I can access my EM e, uh, my EM10, take shots out the window. I can access my iPad. I don't pull out my my uh, MacBook Air when I'm flying. Now, that's the inside. Zip it up. We've got. Take this out of the way, and we've got two pockets. One is for my MacBook Air. Fits in there perfect. The front pocket holds uh, my chargers. So I have a couple little manuals. There's a slot in the front. This is for my H5 Zoom. Stick it in there. These slip right down in the bottom. Sometimes I bring a, this is for my uh, iPad and my MacBook, and then sometimes I bring a wireless or wired mouse with me 
That'll go in the front. Those all go flat, and believe it or not, that all will slide right under, right under the seat. The dimensions are perfect. One little bit of gear that I'm not able to fit in when I take everything with me is my recording uh, equipment. So I don't always take that, and as I mentioned, my uh, Zoom recorder, which I use for both field recording, and I also can plug it in and use it as a, as a, as a uh, direct interface to go in and do serious recording in my, on my Mac. Uh, if I don't take my Bose speaker, then this will fit in that slot. And that's an ideal scenario, so then I wouldn't need this extra bag. So this, uh, I found this, uh, well we found this little bag that came in a set of luggage where there was a bunch of different sizes. First I was going to chuck it, but actually it's turned out pretty valuable. I even have a second with all little parts and pieces for uh, adapters and so on for cameras, tripods that uh, sometimes I bring with me. But uh, this little bag will hold these pieces of equipment and uh, where I put it then is in the overhead uh, carry-on bag because uh, I have to just take a bit of a gamble with it. I have no other options but at least it's with me. So this is my large diaphragm condenser mic. Fits in there. The zoom recorder fits in there. Zoom 5. And this is the uh, little sponge for the zoom 5. I can't quite get the shock mount for the other but it's not fragile so it doesn't matter. But these little bags prove quite handy, and uh, I can just fit in my uh, overhead, which as I mentioned before, we stuff a few pair of underwear, socks, a set of clothes, and uh, a few items, um, maybe chargers, things like that, charger cables, if we need extra space. It's best to keep them with you, because uh, if they get lost or show up two weeks late in your, uh, your checked-in luggage, you're going to be out by not being able to have it charged. So, this is my main setup. Provides me with everything that I need uh, while I'm traveling and even where, when I'm staying for extended periods of time. Smart thing is, store your camera. I could use, if I had only cameras and a few lenses and a laptop or an iPad, I could use a bag probably half this size, which would easily fit under and would be easy to carry.